Hey, how's it going guys? Zedai here. So, I wanted to bring in my honest review on Sola DLC for Dead Island 2. Now, I have played Dead Island 2, got the Platinum Trophy, then I have also played the DLC by the name of House, the first DLC anyway for it, and now, once again, we're back at it again, but with the second DLC by the name of Sola. So, initially when I started playing this, I obviously had to relearn a lot, of, a lot of controls and buttons and layout. Thankfully, the game is very relatively easy to get into and sort of relatively easy to master as well. And that is the reason why you could really get into the game once again quite, quite quickly. I think that's actually a good thing. Now, relating towards what this DLC has to offer, it genuinely is more of the same what you have already played from the main game and of course from the first DLC house. In this case, Sola doesn't necessarily, uh, well that's a lie, Sola doesn't actually have anything new that you should expect within this DLC. Now that's not to say that is a bad thing, it really depends what are your expectations for this DLC. Are you looking for something completely new or revolutionary? No, that this is just not it. But nevertheless, I wanted to bring in some of my pros and cons related towards this DLC. Now, before I proceed, I wanted to mention that I actually have live streamed this game and this DLC like pretty much a whole way through. But unfortunately, if you have taken a look at my live stream, I actually didn't finish the main, well, I didn't finish off the main boss at the very final end of the DLC. It's because, well, I figured out I had some glitches or issues, then I figured out that unfortunately there's some weapons that are not able to be, well, the boss is not able to be injured by some of the certain weapons. So it was a little bit frustrating at that point and there's some quirky moments that feels like there was glitches or some issues or bugs and or at least wasn't exactly clear what you had to do and it was it just so many things that had could have gone wrong for me and unfortunately it just did and so i felt frustrated because of that so i wanted to sleep on it you know genuinely give my uh you know honest thoughts and not just be blinded by the hatred that i've had within this game while i was playing through it's not because the game or this dlc was bad it was not it wasn't like but it was more of the same that you should expect from dead island 2 and of course if you have already played it and perhaps maybe even if you enjoyed it and if you have then yeah give it a shot try it out for yourself now this is perhaps a pro uh, like a good thing that it's more of the same in terms of its gameplay dead island 2 has got four i want to say that as well unfortunately it doesn't bring in anything new some additional weapons are there but again like i said well it's not in revolutionary and again that may not be necessarily be a bad thing and another thing i like the new environment and new place that it introduces here it's basically set in a festival, it's very beautiful and it's actually a nice place to see and explore and of course and a lot of zombies to encounter included. So there's around about give or take 4 hours of playtime that you can find within this DLC for you to explore, to enjoy and to experience of course as well. That's of course including of its story and to some parts as well like if you're going for all the trophies as well. Additionally there are 6 additional trophies that you can get within this DLC of course if you want to get that. Now of course there's some of the goods unfortunately there's quite a lot of well there's some uh, negatives as well. So, unfortunately, there's just not much content in here. It's more of the same, like I said. Like, it really depends on you how you want to interpret that. Is it a good thing or a bad thing? That's why I'm mentioning it in the positive side of this. And, of course, I have to mention it as a negative side of this as well. Some of the set pieces are fun, but others, unfortunately, are quite boring. And it's more of the same what you would see from this design that this game has that you have to go through anyway. Basically, you'll have to go through and getting from point A to point B, clearing out zombies and getting to the points and figuring out going through the story. Same thing, including with side objectives. Again, it's not exactly innovative, it's not exactly clever, it can get quite damn repetitive and boring. But thankfully though, the gameplay kind of, well, alleviates that a little bit at least for me, but not to the extent that I'll say that is a positive and definitely this part is a negative for me. Boss fights. 
they're a drag. They are a big, 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 big minus for me. It's very repetitive. It's more of the same. It's nothing really innovative. Can be a little bit convoluted. Some parts, like I have mentioned, that I got stuck on at the final boss moment. And then I figured out that the face, or at least how much you have to keep on hitting the specific boss, well, it's extremely tanky and it's just more of the same repeated by the cycle again and again and again. Like I said, it's very repetitive and I'm just for no reason dragged out for too darn long, unfortunately. So yes, I'll say that DLC, or at least this DLC, should be played with an online cooperative. So have your friend or your buddy next to you and he can actually annihilate while you're doing it or so as well with him of these bosses and encounters. So, and on top of that, it's always better to play any game with your friend. It can be even the game is completely broken like it was on day one launch of like Fallout 76 as an example. You play with a friend Friend is always more fun, even if the game is completely broken and bare bones. In this case, well, it's a similar thing. Even though the game is not broken or as broken as it was of like Fallout 76, right? It was never that bad. It, obviously, it was never. So it's actually kind of a bad example that I'm putting here. <laughs> but still, any game that is good or bad will be more fun with a friend. That's my point. But anyway, guys, that's all I wanted to have. A little bit of a mention related to uh, Dead Island 2 DLC, Sola. What a weird name, but yeah, kind of works in this situation. But uh, yeah, nevertheless, I had a good time, and if I would have had to score it, it's just a good kind of a DLC that if you want to and experience more of the same that you have already, like I mentioned, of Dead Island 2 and of course the first DLC, then yeah, I'll see. I think you'll find some of the interesting parts within this, well, this Sola DLC. Alright, thank you so much for watching, like and subscribe, I'll see you guys all, and have a wonderful day.